Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This week I'm going to attempt to do a full salon week vlog. I'm gonna attempt. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this video for such a long time now and it's just been so busy for me recently. Um, just work life, personal life, so it's been really hard to try to do this video. But I'm going to try my hardest to do a full salon week vlog. I will say it's gonna be extremely hard to film every single client I have and what I'm doing on all of them specifically because I am extremely busy this week and I'm double booked. I was sick last weekend so I had to take off Saturday, Friday and Saturday so I'm kind of squeezing in more clients um, and I'm already busy so this week should be interesting and I thought it would be fun to do a full salon week this week because it's Halloween this weekend and we're going to be dressing up Friday and Saturday and I thought it would be really fun just to film since we're going to be dressed up and it's just going to be good energy at the salon. I did do a salon vlog last year on the day before Halloween and we dressed up like 70s theme. It was actually really fun filming that video so I thought it'd be cool to do a salon week this week right before Halloween. So that's just like the little rundown. Like I said, don't expect me to film every single client that I have and what I'm doing on all of them specifically. I'm just gonna try my best to film as much as I can this week and just show you guys what I'm doing every single day. So I'm excited. It is 9.43, so I'm about to walk in the salon, set up, and start my day. But before we begin this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys can see more videos like this in the future. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ash Luna, so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes, a little bit of my life. So if you guys are interested to see this, this full salon week vlog then just continue watching This is my first client of the day. She obviously has a very curly hair, but she doesn't have a ton of it, so it shouldn't take me a long time to apply. She does want a low maintenance balayage look, so I'm only going to be retouching up her root area where it's pretty dark and do minimal balayage pieces just for a seamless low maintenance grow out. This is the after and obviously you can see it's so beautiful and her root area is more of a low maintenance balayage look but she's still pretty bright around her face so we both loved it and it came out beautiful. So I'm outside while I wait for my third client. It is now 1.52 p.m. and my next client is a partial. Um, I didn't film my second client. It was just a toner and a blow dry just because I totally forgot and I was already busy But my first client turned out so beautiful as you saw in the shot um, But now my next one is So yeah, my next client is a partial. Um, she's one of my friends from high school I love her and then while she's processing I have a full balayage So I will try to film both of those and show you guys the before and after and all that if I don't, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna try my best. So, so far today has been really good, very smooth. Um, so I think the rest of the day should be really good. So I'm excited and I will check in with you guys later. 
So for my next client, I am doing a partial highlight. We're just gonna be retouching up her root area because it's pretty dark and she wants it nice and blonde for her Halloween costume. So I just did baby lights for a partial, meaning just doing the front of her hair and a little bit of the back. A full would be the entire head, but we're only doing a partial today. I forgot to mention that I did add Olaplex in this bowl of lightener only because she does use a ton of heat on her hair and she is pretty blonde and I do have to overlap it a little bit onto the blonde so just to protect it throughout the service we did add Olaplex to protect her hair. For my next client, I am just doing a minimal lived-in balayage. She does want it pretty light this time, so I'm going to try my best to get her as light as I can. And she does love the ashier tone, so that will be the end goal. So it is now time to rinse my partial highlight out and as you can see she's pretty blonde at the root looks beautiful so now i'm just gonna go ahead and mix up her toner she does like her toners or her hair color to be very ashy we've definitely tried all the lukey i'm sorry luke's here in the mix to be involved luke do you want to say hi want to say hi luke want to say hi are you saying hi <laughs> Okay, so like I was saying before Luke interrupted me, she likes her colors to be pretty ashy. We've tried all the tones on her, golden, natural, ashy, and I do like ashier the best on her. So as you can see, this is the after. It looks beautiful for a Latina. Her hair looks amazing. And then this is the after of my last client of the day. Um, as you can see, her hair is beautiful. I did try my best to get her as light as I can. She's probably gonna have to do one more session to be more of like that blonde, icier look. But overall, it looks beautiful. Hey guys, so I am now finished with work. I am back in my car, I'm about to head home. And the time is 6.17 p.m. So I finished work a lot earlier than I thought. I thought I was gonna be done at like seven and everyone's hair turned out beautiful today. Today went very smooth, uh, so went well. And I was able to film most of my clients today except my second toner. It was just a toner blow dry, so I probably didn't really need to film her, but everybody turned out beautiful and everyone loved it, so today was a good day. So now I'm gonna head home and figure out what to eat with Ryan and then just lay low tonight. Tomorrow is gonna be more of a chill day. Tomorrow I'm not double booked. I am busy, but I'm not double booked. And then Friday is gonna be so crazy. So, Friday's gonna be an interesting day. And Saturday is pretty crazy too, so. Yeah. Um, not sure if I'm gonna vlog when I get home. So if I don't, I will see you guys manana.
Hey guys, so I'm about to go to work and I did wake up at 6 a.m. to do a workout and then I got back and got ready for work. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing these new pants from Sheen. They're like a faux leather and this is the first time I wear them. They're super cute and comfy. I'm wearing my sneakers that I got from Sheen. They look like Air Forces. They're like in a nude color. And then this top I got from Zara. So this is the vibe today. Super cute. And now I'm about to go ahead to work and start my day. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform you. Oh. Come and see what you So I just got to work. And I'm about to walk in and my work wife Aubrey is waiting for me so I need to go right now And but the weather right now is about to rain. I think it's supposed to be like gloomy all day today Which is kind of funny because whenever the weather is like this during fall or winter It feels like a real fall and winter if you know what I mean And I think it's supposed to drop pretty low tonight, which is gonna be like our first cold front So I think tomorrow it's gonna be in the low 60s, which is kind of cool so I'm about to walk into work right now. Look who it is. Look at your outfit. Super cute. Show the bag. Look how cute her bag is. No, the other bag. So cute. Pumpkin bitch. <laughs> so cute. No, but she likes kind of a black beetle. Wanted to get her hair done and I've been chatting with her. So I'm back in my car and it is pouring rain right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's literally pouring. Um, my first client didn't show up, which is kind of a bummer because she was on my books last weekend and I had to reschedule her because I was sick. It kind of sucks that she didn't show up because I woke up at 6 a.m. to do a workout and she didn't even show up. So, it is what it is. But it kind of worked out because I have to get a couple things for Halloween this weekend and I was going to go after work. So, I'm just going to do it now and I'm in the parking lot of Target. So, I'm going to go and get some stuff for Halloween. I have to get spray paint or like root like root spray for my hair so I can be Ariana Grande tomorrow and then I have to get a blonde root spray for bubbles on Saturday and then I have to get Ryan some paint so I can paint him so I can do Beetlejuice on him for Saturday so that's the update um, and then my next client is at 1.30 so it is 11 a.m. now and I'll probably be back after this so hopefully I can find everything I need here at Target I was looking for a spirit around this area and there is no spirit so i'm just gonna hopefully so hopefully i can just find everything at target and then i can just go back to work so that's the update that was a success i ended up finding everything i needed i don't need to go to i don't need to go to spirit anymore thank god um i just got some basic halloween face paint for ryan so when i do beetlejuice on him and then i got Root spray for when I do you're gonna grind tomorrow. Scam. I got a white graphic liner um, because I'm gonna do that liner that she does. And then I got a red lipstick, which I'm pretty sure I have a red lipstick at home, but it's in my kit and I don't feel like digging in my kit looking for it. So I just got a basic wet and wild red lipstick. This is for when I do Lydia, so I don't care about this one, so the only thing I need is a, let me see if I can go to Walgreens really quickly and get a Batiste dry shampoo, specifically for blonde, so they so it can cover up my roots a little bit for when I do bubbles. So that's the vibe. And then after that, I'm just going to head back to work, and I will probably check in with you guys when I get to work and right before I do my first client. So, see you guys later. I'm walking to work and now the sun is out. That's Florida for you, bipolar. So this was my first client of the day and I didn't film me applying her balayage but it was just a all over balayage full this time. And she wants to be a little bit more blonde today but more on the ashier side. As you can see in this clip, I did pull out her foils and her hair is super blonde. So I'm super excited to put the toner on top because it's going to look so beautiful and it's going to definitely pop since her hair got pretty light. 
I normally don't show the formulations on my salon vlogs, but I'll just quickly tell you guys what I'm using for this girl. Um, we do use Wella Professional, not Wella from Sally's. It is Wella Professionals. And this color line specifically is called Illumina, and it is a violet base color line, which I love for my ashier tones. So I did use 1069. I did use a lot of it because she does have a lot of hair. There's Heather. Hey girl, what's up? And then next, I'm just mixing up her root color, which I do 5-1 from Color Touch, and it's basically a level 5 ash, just to cancel out the brass on the root, and it just gives it more of a seamless balayage look. And this is the after obviously she looks a lot more brighter and it looks so perfect That's exactly what she wanted so I'm very happy hi guys it is now the next day hello my name is Ariana Grande <laughs> so last night once I finished up with my last client I didn't pick up the camera to finish the day because I was so tired from that 6 a.m. workout so I was like I'll just end the vlog there and just pick up the next day so here we are it is friday october 29th a lot of things are happening today it's pop icon day at work also my best friend michelle is having a baby today if you're watching this i freaking love you and let me blurp that out i freaking love you and i can't wait to meet baby alessandra she's gonna be the freaking cutest hopefully in the next couple hours she'll be born into this universe so we can't wait for that everyone at work is super excited to see her um, we've been waiting for this since the day we found out she was pregnant <laughs> So that's pretty exciting today is Friday Good Friday energy, but my assistant Izzy had to call out today because she's been throwing up all night and she might have like a stomach bug so That sucks because today is probably one of my busiest days this week. I'm double booked Two I'm double booked and it's just gonna be a shit show at work and Aubrey's double booked too so it's gonna be a quite interesting day. Um, hopefully I can vlog as much as I can today. I'll try my best. But since I don't have her, it's gonna be a little bit harder. So just a little heads up. But today's gonna be fun though, even though she called out. <laughs> We're gonna make the best of it and just have fun and work and hopefully get everyone done. I don't even know how we're gonna do it we're just we're just gonna do it <laughs> also I will post a photo on the screen of my inspo for Ariana Grande this is kind of like one of her looks her one of her new looks that she's doing for her makeup line coming up which I believe will be launching in November um, she had a cute little Instagram video a while back of her wearing this similar outfit and I was like I have to do that for the pop icon it looks so cute it's definitely like a new Ariana look with the two pigtails, very low, not high anymore. And yeah, I'm excited. So I'm about to walk into work and I will show you my full outfit of what I'm wearing and as well as everyone else in the salon, hopefully, if my day isn't as crazy. So today will be an interesting day, so I'll bring you guys along with and I will see you guys when I walk in the salon. Okay, fit check. <laughs> Ariana Grande, Aaliyah, you look so good. Come on, Stitch. Come on, Stitch. Drop that head, honey. Yes. Selena. Selena, how do you look? Let me check. I'll do a little video. Let me check. Let me cover myself up. I feel so exposed. Let check. Hey, nothing's more exposed than Aaliyah over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Selena! I don't know. Selena, Selena! Ooh, como le flor! In your area, I don't know. Oh, oh, no, here's what I hear. The check. The check. <laughs> Show your face. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a, let me get a flop. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Funny. Um, Aubrey, Sunny and Cher. 
Do I like her? So this is the fit, wearing this crop top from Sheen, Sheen, and Sheen. So I like Ariana Grande or nah? Nah. Shut up. Look at her. Look at Cher. Look at Cher. Oh yeah. <laughs> So for my first client of the day, I'm going to be doing a balayage, but her specifically, she doesn't want the balayage to be brought up too, too high this time. So we're just going to bring it up higher on her face and then just do more of a lower maintenance look all over. So in this clip, I'm doing my second client while my first client is processing. She just wants a all over color. So I'm doing a level four, which is a dark brown. She does want to go a little deeper for this fall time. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to leave it on for about 20 minutes. So while she processes, I'm going to rinse out my first client, get her all washed out, mix up her color while I wash the second client. So it's definitely a lot of double booking here. And now we're just blow drying my second client so we can get her out and finish with the first one. And then this is the after of my second client. The color is perfect. She loves it and I love it. So it's a win-win. So for my first client's color, she wants it more of a beigeier blonde. We've done ashy and golden in the past, but today she does want more of a beigeier look, which is what I love personally. And as you can see in the after, it looks so beautiful. And as you can see, it, it is brighter around her face, but lower everywhere else for a lower maintenance look. Are you telling people you're Richard Simmons? I'm telling people I'm Jane Fonda. Pregnant. You're who? Jane Fonda. La <laughs> Fonda. Did you dress like that? The blue box. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Norma. Is that okay? Everyone favored me, but like, I'm not like a really small. What do you think? We've been like a love each other. This is my third client of the day and today we're going to be doing a full head of baby lights. Um, obviously her root area is pretty dark, it's pretty much black and she does like it to be more on the icier ash blonde side. So I do have to let it sit for a while and hopefully it can get nice and blonde for me so when I throw the toner on top it is nice and bright. <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> My client is pretty much done processing, but I do like to soap cap her ends just to get rid of the purple shampoo buildup so it doesn't get too ashy when I throw the toner on top. And there goes Christine. She's doing a little feature. Gotta love her. <laughs> so now that I'm washing the soap cap out, and soap cap just means that it's bleach mixed with. Um, clarifying shampoo so now I'm just getting rid of all of the foils and as you can see she did get pretty light which is a win-win so now I'm just gonna go mix up the toner and apply that all over her hair and I do do a root tap which is like a root shadow just to make the roots extra blended
this is the after and it looks so beautiful so perfect um the lighting in the salon does make it look a little bit more yellowy but it, i promise you guys it's like the most perfect ash blonde that you could ever imagine and i really do need to save this formula because it looks so good on her so i loved it she loves it so yeah i'm happy <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back home and I didn't record my last two clients because they were just haircuts and I think that's just kind of boring. Luckily today went very well even though I didn't have Izzy, my assistant, with me today. Luckily one of the stylists didn't have a client for like two hours so she helped us blow dry and stuff so that was amazing. I owe her, I'm gonna owe her a coffee tomorrow morning because that was so nice of her. So today went pretty well and today was actually pretty fun even though I was very busy. We all dressed up, we had a good time, and now I am home. Ryan and I are gonna go out to eat to this Mexican place. I love Mexican food. And once I come back, I'm gonna have to wash this hair three times because I used the root spray. And I've done this in the past, and I usually have to wash my hair three times for it to come out. So I love that for me. So I'm gonna wash my hair tonight, blow dry it, and then watch a documentary with Ryan. Take it easy. Tomorrow's gonna be a very busy day because we have that Halloween party tomorrow night. So I have to work all day, and then I have to change into two different costumes tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. So I might vlog a little bit at the restaurant. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. But today was overall a really good day. All of my clients were easy, and they loved their hair, and it just worked out nicely. So. I love that. This my little looky pookie bear. Look my little looky pookie bear. He's on edge because he knows we're leaving, right? Look at you, look at a little statue. You know we're leaving, right? We'll be right back. We're just going out to eat. Hmm? We're just going out to eat. Hmm? We're just going out to eat, looky pookie bear. We'll be right back. Okay? Don't be so sad. Mm. Also, my liner took a hot minute this morning, but it came out pretty good. I love you. This is our food. We got a michelada. It's a Mexican drink. Basically, it's a Mexican beer with tomato juice, hot sauce, and then the rim is tahin. So good. And then Ryan got a margarita, burrito with two tacos. It's fire. Thumbs up. This is the first place we come. This is the first time we come here and it's so fire. It's so fire. So good. Hey guys, so it is now Saturday. The week is almost done. Um, ooh, it's a little shaky there. I'm on my way to work. Um, I'm running kind of late. I'm not super late. Oh my god. I'm not running super late, but I'm running later than usual. I stopped and got some Starbucks for me and my friend that helped me yesterday. I also got some egg bites to eat because I'm busy today and I don't really have lunch. But I might get some Uber Eats later. And got my big water here. I need to hydrate today because we're going to a Halloween party tonight, which means we're going to be drinking a lot and I'm not trying to be super hungover tomorrow. So we are. Oh my god, is it going to stay? I should probably put my seatbelt on. Um, today, me, Aubrey, and Christine were doing Powderpuff Girls. Powderpuff, you see that? Oh, I guess my glasses are in the way, but Powderpuff Girls. I'm Blossom, obviously. I'm Blossom. And I've never vlogged and drived at the same time, but since I'm running late, I'm not going to have time to like sit in the parking lot and talk. So we're just going to multitask here, and my camera is literally just going all over the place. My makeup looks so good. I feel like Bubbles. Bubbles was my favorite character from Powderpuff Girls. Like I was obsessed with them. And I remember as a little girl, I had this stuffed animal of Bubbles. And that was my bitch. I brought her everywhere with me. And I had slept over at my cousin's house and all the way in Point Siena. And I left Bubbles at her house and I never saw her again. So that was pretty sad. It was a very traumatizing, not traumatizing, it was a very sad moment in my childhood because she was my bitch. Like, she, she was my girl. And, oh, I'm surprised this camera hasn't fell yet. But yeah, anyways, I'm super excited to be Bubbles today. And today is a busy day. I'm only double booked once, which is later, like in the early afternoon. Um, 
I have a balayage and then I have a toner in between. So hopefully my assistant comes in today. I'm hoping she hasn't texted us saying that she's not, so that's good. So I'll have her, and the weather in Orlando right now is kind of weird. It's like gloomy and like rainy. But that was not in the forecast today, so I'm kind of confused. I feel like I'm talking so fast. Um, I don't have my lipstick on. I literally didn't have time to put that on. My new favorite drink from Starbucks is the ice brown, what is it, the iced brown sugar oat milk ex shaken espresso. That's a really long name, but this is my new go-to. I don't really drink the pumpkin. Oh, oh my God. We're in a very uh, uh, bumpy area here. Here we go. Um, and I'm not really drinking the pumpkin cold brew anymore. It's just, I don't know, I think I've drinking it so much last season that I'm just like over it. And this is always obviously stronger and this is what I need is espresso. And I love oat milk. Oat milk is so good. So yeah, I'm gonna try my best to vlog as much as I can today. Um, but today should be like kind of a smooth day. I'm a little worried for my balayage. So we'll see. And I will see you guys when I get to work with my Powerpuff Girls. Look at my work wife. Look at her shoes, so cute. Let me see the shoes, come here. Let me see the shoes. Oh my God, he looks so cute. This is my first client of the day and I'm just doing a toner haircut. So for the toner, I'm just keeping it pretty golden. She does like her blonde to be a little bit more golden right now. So we're just retouching that up. And then for her haircut, we're just doing a trim on her ends and just reshaping up her layers. She does like her layers to be really long and then I do touch up her curtain bang moment. This is the after, obviously you can see her hair is beautiful. It's more on the golden tones. And then I did reshape her hair, so her hair has a little bit more movement to her. <gasps> look at Princess Warbucks. She understood the assignment. Oh, you look so cute. Let me see the hair. Dang, girl. Look at you, look at the little freckles. Aw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is my second client of the day. Honestly, I think this might be my second or my third, I don't remember. But she is one of my subscribers. She found me on YouTube and she watches my videos. I do love her, she's the sweetest. So we're just gonna be retouching up her balayage. She does wanna go a lot lighter this time. So I'm gonna try my best to get her as light as I can. And obviously you can see on the after, it looks perfect. It's exactly what she wanted. And it does look like the inspo photo that she showed me, which is pretty cool. I love that. So yeah, her hair looks beautiful and can't wait to see her again in the future. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I'm obviously home and I did not vlog my last client because it was just a like foil around the face. And I've actually vlogged her in my previous salon vlogs. She's like my blonde highlight client. I love her, she's super sweet and she didn't even get a blow dry so I just didn't figure vlogging it. But today ended up being a really good day and everything went smoothly, everyone loved their hair. And also my second client of the day, which was the balayage, um, she actually watches my YouTube videos. So if you're watching this, thank you, I love you. And she's a client of mine as well. So she's super supportive and she's really sweet. I love her, she actually drives 45-ish minutes to come to the salon to get her hair done by me because she lives in a different county and there's just not, good hair people out there so she makes the drive to come see me so i love that so i do love her for that um but yeah i'm eating by the way i'm obsessed with this powder puff girls outfit i don't want to take it off <laughs> honestly but is my camera dirty i think i have like 
there we go hopefully that's better yeah i'm actually really sad to take this costume off um this actually has been like one of my favorites it was fun being bubbles because again bubbles was my bitch <laughs> but um yeah so it is now 5 46 p.m um ryan isn't here yet he went to go meet up with a friend really quickly and i actually have to clean up i'm eating chipotle because i have to carb up for tonight so i'm not extremely hungover tomorrow which if you know me you know i love chipotle chipotle is everything to me chipotle so so it is 5 47 once i'm done here i'm gonna like clean up a little bit well we'll see i want to clean up my room because my room is a hot mess i'm so thankful that ryan cleans the house on saturdays because i work and he's off so saturday morning he cleans the house or cleans the apartment so I always come home Saturday with it spotless, except my glam room. Obviously, he doesn't want to touch it because it's a hot mess. So I want to try my best to clean my glam room a little bit. That way, when I get home tonight, it's not a hot mess in there because it gives me so much anxiety when it's messy. Um, so yeah, I need to clean up a little bit and then start getting ready. Luckily, my makeup is not going to take forever. It's super simple. I have to do Ryan's makeup, which he's gonna be Beetlejuice, and I've never done that before, so hopefully it turns out good. And yeah, that should be interesting. Maybe I'll vlog that a little bit, but maybe I'll like vlog me doing his makeup a little bit, we'll see. So that's gonna be interesting. And then obviously Luke's gonna stay home tonight, so he's gonna be alone for quite some time, but he'll be fine, he'll just be sleeping for the most part. I've been doing pretty good on my water. I'm like almost done. I am so happy that the week is done with because I was a little nervous this week because of how busy I was, but everything turned out great. There was not one day that I had a bad day. So that's really good. I loved all my clients this week and my best friend had her baby yesterday. So that was exciting. She's so freaking cute. Her name's Alessandra. Can't wait to meet her. So, yeah, overall it was a really good week. And I'll vlog a little bit more after this. But then after that, the vlog will be done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if I'm going to like end this vlog properly. If I don't, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram so you guys can see behind the scenes. I post a lot of my stories on tiktok too so i'm going to finish this up and clean up a little bit and then take a shower get ready to be lydia tell her i can't snake you break gun on safety my girl's so tasty tell her it's your world she want the two-tone spaceship blow smoke screen daily so the stress don't face me i'm going i keep it factual i'm on sabbatical i'm out in central america i need a break from hysteria Park like the one with the camera. Finally. I get it lit in your area. You locked to the vision, it couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you hear me. We live and it's good in your area. My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused, but he's massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps, so the sun is down like a hundred miles. Ten in frames when we get it down. Okay, huh. now. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Been a while, yeah, like you did, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there to the ground. Jet black when I put it in the Get it. Set back like a step back. Wait, I got the game in the vice grip. Way up from the vice clip. All the homies on the flight list. Rebelly gifted. Take the plot that I twisted. Got a big lit. Take with the incense. Got my mind rants. Won't stop from a lens. I'm gonna need some. Ready to party. Woohoo. Let's see you. Come here. Tell her it's your world. She wants to keep on spaceship. <laughs> face by me? You already know? <laughs> Looking good. This is my outfit. I love these new boots from Sheen. This is a vibe. And I'm like, okay. See you guys at the party. <laughs> I'm 
need safety. Tell her I can't snake you. Ray gun off safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two-tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily.